Yeah, so the first day I went there, um, there was an altercation late at night. So I was staying at a drug user's house, right? And um, this woman was literally blabbing on about her ex-partner and this and that and whatnot. Remember, it's my first day here. I don't mm. know anyone here. So um, I asked her, like, why are you telling me all of this? Like, I don't care. She's like, oh, no, no, I'm just telling you just so that... Um, just in case you might bump into him kind of thing. Like, be careful, innit? So I thought, all right, cool, thanks for that information. Like, I'm gonna note it down, whatever. It came to like 10 o'clock at night and she went to the bank. She said, oh, I'm just popping off to the bank. I'm gonna be like half an hour, whatever. So I'm in the house by myself, waiting around. I get a phone call that someone wants something um, at our usual spot that we usually meet, right? So then I've got it ready and everything, done what I've needed to do, and um, I've switched off all the lights. Do you know what I mean? Um, as I've opened the door, I just see a blade like shining um, off of the light on the estate. And obviously I, I, I've immediately tried to shut the door. Like, do you know what I mean? Um, it was a black guy. It was a black guy and a white guy. Like, I, I don't know if they're drug users or gang members or, or what type of... Um, these people are coming for me. So I've quickly tried to shut the door, um, which obviously failed. Um, they barged in and one of them quickly, literally just went behind me like this. So he's got me in a standing like headlock, like my head against like his chin. Mm -hmm. He's got the knife to my throat. Where's the drugs? Where's the money? I was thinking, I'm not taking this loss. I know I'm laughing now, mm. but 